Hi, I'm Tim. In this video, we're going to talk about Elevons, what Elevons are, how they work, and how you can easily install Elevons to your RC model airplane. Let's get to it. It's flying! Any airplane has three axes of flight that is controlled. And using this model of the uh, pits, it's pitch, roll, and yaw. Of course, the elevators control the pitch, the rudder controls the yaw, then the ailerons control the roll function. And just looking at that with the pits, you can see the elevator up pitch, down pitch, left yaw, right yaw for the rudder, then for the ailerons, roll left and right. There are some aircraft that do not have uh, conventional uh, tail control surfaces like this PIS. Rather, the wing is a triangular shape that goes all the way to the back of the plane with control surfaces in the back of the airplane. These wings are typically called delta wings from the Greek alphabet letter delta, which looks like a triangle. And with delta-winged aircraft, there was a, a lot of study done by engineers in the uh, 40s and up through the 50s. And it was understood that delta wings had certain um, advantages for very high-speed flight. You don't have a lot of reason to build a delta wing airplane for a slower um, general aviation aircraft. But with fighters, bombers, high-performance aircraft that go very fast, for transonic and supersonic flight, delta wings have a tremendous advantage. Now there's various types of delta wings. You can have a delta wing with a tail control surfaces like the MiG-21 fighter. Uh, what we're going to talk about in this video are pure delta wings, in other words, where there's no tails. And when you have a delta wing with no tails, you have the controls in the back, and the controls have a dual function to do both pitch and roll. And what I'll use as a demonstration is my square foam flyer. Even though this is a... Um, a square, 20 inches square, and there are free plans for download for this airplane in the description. It is, for control purposes, a Delta aircraft because there is no tail. You just have these two controls. These controls are called elevons, which is a combination of the word elevator and aileron. Sometimes you see tailoron. What, has to, what they have to do is mix the control function for both pitch and roll. I'll get into more detail at the um, next segment of the video, just so you can visualize what the elevons look like. Up for pitch, down pitch, and while they're up, they also go opposite for roll control. So even though you're up, they still can provide the roll function uh, through the use of the elevons. Now some examples of delta wing aircraft, there are many examples. Uh, the British did a World War, an uh, early jet bomber called the Vulcan bomber, which was a uh, tailless delta configuration. Uh, the F-106 fighter for the U.S. Air Force, the B-58 Hustler supersonic bomber. The space shuttle is a delta wing design that uses elevons for its return into atmospheric flight. And of course, the most famous delta wing aircraft that we're all familiar with is a supersonic Concorde uh, transport, which is a pure tailless delta winged aircraft. So the installation of um, elevons, back before computer radios, it was hard to do. There were some very complex mixing boxes that mechanically mix the pitch and roll function of the elevons. Luckily, with today's computer-based radios, it really couldn't be much um, easier to set up the, elevate, the um, elevon function because what will happen is, in this case, I have two servos. They're plugged into the um, aileron and elevator control ports, and through the magic of the computer mixing, the servos behave to my stick functions. So I showed you the display of the ailerons before. You fly the elevons just like a normal aircraft, up, down, mode two with the right stick, and then the roll function is on the stick. You don't do anything different as an RC pilot. This is a throttle here. And if you want, you can add rudder. I do not have rudder on this airplane, but any delta, uh, tailless delta wing aircraft, you can have a rudder function, and the full scale ones have it. So it's a very normal flying function with the controls. 
There's one trick with setting up the computer radio that I want to share with you. I have a Spectrum DX6 transmitter, which I like a lot. It may vary with different other transmitters, but you'll have to study the instructions as a good starting point to understand how to um, set up your radio for elevons. I'm going to show you quickly how to do it on the radio. The other thing I want to mention before the demonstration is when I originally set this up with elevons, so this was up and this might be the left function, it would go up correctly. I'd go to the left, but the controls went in the opposite direction. There was nothing I could do with servo reverse to fix it. I found out from uh, on the internet that I could actually swap the plugs in the receiver. Instead of uh, two for ailerons, three for elevator, just swap them put the one into the other, that fixed the problem. There's another way on the computer radio that I'll show you here how to do it. So, so this is the main menu, and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the system setup. The system setup here are menus that you do just once on the model, things like Elevon setup, not like Subtrim. Once we're in the system setup menu, we're going to go to aircraft type. And notice aircraft type, we have the wing Elevon tail normal, okay? When we scroll down to the Elevon and press, we can get different configurations for the aircraft type. What I want to point here is here's Elevon that works fine, but there's also an Elevon B function. You see Elevon B, the B right there. This has the effect of swapping out the plugs if you can't get the control surfaces to behave right. So that'll save you a little bit of time. Once we're satisfied, we go back up to the main menu and everything is working just fine. Remember with all this talk on elevons, flying wings, etc., the most important thing for any RC model is a proper center of gravity location. Even on my school, uh, square foam flyer, I have the CG marked right here on the foam. It's 25% of the way back and about five inches. Make sure that you balance any model you have with um, the center of gravity location. So let's take a quick look at the square flyer flying. You'll see how well it flies. And again, as I mentioned, there are free plans available for download. It's flying! So again, with the Elevons, there's nothing you need to do different as a pilot. It's just another trick in your bag for uh, aircraft of this nature. You might have a flying wing that has Elevons. It's a little bit of fun, and it adds something to your aircraft flying fleet. Mm -hmm.